hello everyone welcome to my channel so in today's video we will learn about how to install PostgreSQL on your Mac OS based machine so let's start so what is PostgreSQL so PostgreSQL is an open source relational database used by most of the organization and been using for the last 30 years and an active state from last 30 years so we are going to install PostgreSQL on our Mac OS machine so I have my Mac OS machine, Apple Silicon based chip. So I'm going to download the same in my machine. So if you guys having Mac OS based upon Intel based, so I'll be also showing you that option through which you can also install PostgreSQL on your Mac OS based machine, either Intel or Apple Silicon. Okay, so let's start. So upon opening your web browser you need to go to this website postgresql.org i'll be also sharing you the urls in video description box so after entering this website of postgresql we need to click upon this button download and we need to select our operating system so as i've already told you i'll be showing you how we can install a mac os machine then i'll be clicking on mac os operating system and going below several configuration and packages provided by postgre for installing on mac os based so the latest one is postgre sql version is 15 so i'll be installing the same 15th version as i have already told you if you wanted to install on your mac os apple silicon based that is arm based machine so you need to install either postgre sql 15 or postgre sql 15 version 14 because below that 13 12 11 is not available for apple silicon based m1 m2 based processes okay so we need to install one of these either 15 or 14 so i am going to install the latest 15 you can also check out which version or sorry which processor you guys are having so you need to click on this apple icon left hand side of your laptop desktop and about this mac and you can see chip apple m2 so i'm using apple m2 chip here and i'm going to download the same 15th version so to make it easier we are going to do with postgres.app so basically it's a simple native mac os application that basically we need to download and just run the installer and everything this application is going to do so you just need to click on this postgres.app and then the download will start automatically okay we need to download it okay i'm just going to click it download so download will take either few seconds or minute depending upon your internet connection so mine one has been downloaded so i'm just going to click on this dot dmg file so mine one has been downloaded and i'm just going to click on this dot dmg file and going on my finder clicking on this dot dmg file double click and we just need to just copy and paste this postgre application on our applications folder and it will take few seconds okay so this has been copied now what we need to do is we just need to go to our applications and we just need to open this postgres okay so it's asking us to you know allow the application that we have downloaded from the internet so just open this and allow access okay so we can see postgres has been installed successfully and we can see a elephant icon has been also popped up and we just need to click on this icon and we can see if you want to you know quit or stop you can also do so from this icon so let's start i'm just going to click on initialize to start the server default server has been created three default server the one is uh, the username that you guys has currently logged in on your mac os machine so i'm just going to click on this postgres database and i can see that okay so i have clicked on prashant rana database that has by default created on postgres so on clicking upon this a terminal has been opened up and we can see like uh, let me just see which database currently i'm using to verify 
okay so we can see by writing this command con info you are connecting to database prashant rana is user prashant rana okay so by default after installing postgres you will be having three databases that has been automatically created by postgres so the one is by default whichever user you have logged on your mac os machine so this has been present okay so but if you wanted to you know create a fresh database on your machine on your sorry postgres you can also do so let me just quit this terminal and let me just show you how we can log in so before logging in you need to you know start the postgres so i have already started my postgres now i just need to write psql space hyphen u postgres okay i'll be also providing you this command in video description so you can also go and just copy paste and just type in your terminal okay command not found okay okay p sql have to change their command or what like okay i got that okay so just going back to the postgres application after downloading and installing we just need to come to this introduction part and we just need to you know configure the path that's the important thing we just need to configure this path okay so i'll be copying this and i'll be opening terminal and i'll be just copying this path okay and i'm just entering my password okay so after copying this path we need to just close our terminal and again i'm just going to close this terminal also and again i'm just going to open my terminal basically this path is important because we need to you know configure our postgres path and after you know copying this path and after configuring this path through terminal we need to just uh, we can open our postgres again and we can see whether or not our command is working or not okay so you can see p sql by writing p sql we have been connected to our postgres okay now after connecting to postgres we can use this command slash list to see the number of databases that has been currently present in our application in our postgres database so by writing this command slash list we can see the databases okay so but if you wanted to create a fresh database you can also do so so i'll be showing you that command create database billing db okay so i have created my database billing db and now i just need to again slash list okay so you can see my database has been created here billing db above so in this way we can create our database and if you you know wanted to use your database you can also let me just use billing db okay so uh, okay i have used this use billing db command basically we have to use this in mysql i just forget to write this okay so in postgres we need to write you know slash c and the database name and through that we can connect to our database and now we just need to write show tables okay not show tables it's slash dt okay so i haven't created any tables so it's showing me it did not find any relations so in this way we can you know download and install and configure the postgres sql in our mac os machine be it like apple silicon or you know m1 m2 base chip or intel base chip i have shown you in this video and through that command we need to also configure the path in our mac os also i'll be giving up you these commands in video description box so it's easier for you guys to just copy paste and you know configure the postgres sql on your machine and after you know uh, doing your work you can just you know exit this and you just need to you know just either quit this from here or just stop this uh, your database will stop and you just close this so in this way we can you know install and configure this postgres sql in our mac os machine and create and use the database so that's it for today guys thank you if you have any query and any question do comment and i'll be 
happy to reply over there thank you guys have a good day